who knows? You know, this new album is fantastic. I mean, I love it. I mean, I was listening to it over and over and over. What was it like getting to work with uh, Butch Fig? Uh, we'd, we'd worked with him before. He's, he's great. I mean, he's a, he's a legend. He's an old friend of Dave's. And uh, he understood. Really, had they worked together before? Yeah, years, years ago. Uh, yeah, and he just he, know, he understands rock music. You know, there's like the shorthand there. He gets it. There's no like learning curve. I, I, what's really great is that you guys are the only record up for album of the year that wasn't a pop album. You know, so that's a lot of pressure. It's pretty. You know, it's pretty rare that a rock and roll record in the last ten years would be up for album of the year. We're kind of the anomaly, you know, now at this point. And, uh, you know, I we don't feel any pressure necessarily. I mean, I don't. You know, I know we made a great record. And, you know, it would be fun to get up there on stage and say, oh, my God, look what happened. Can you fucking believe this? But that's kind of like, we would definitely feel like we stole... <laughs> Like, it would be like, ah, give it to us, we stole it. <laughs> and now you guys are, out the back. you guys are getting to perform with uh, Dead Mouse too, from the the dance number. Exactly. What's that? What can we expect? Uh, an an, aw an awkward collaboration between two <laughs> distinctly different styles of music. Well, that just means good TV, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So, uh, what does this event mean for you guys tonight, being here for a Person of the Year? That's a fucking kick-ass haircut, dude. What this? <laughs> it's it's age inappropriate. Sorry. <laughs> what was it? I just barged in. Yep. I'm asking what tonight means for you guys, being out here uh, honoring Sir Paul. Well, I don't think any of us would be here if it weren't for Paul McCartney and the Beatles, and he's obviously uh, a genius. And to me, I could I can't think of another person uh, who's an, as important in modern popular culture. That guy's had more influence than maybe anybody. And uh, and he's a good dude. If you've ever hung with him, he's a really nice guy. And uh, I mean, there's a reason that Music Cares is honoring him. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, to be here for Music Cares, it's we've been here I don't know one or two times before, and um, and yeah, I know people personally that have. That, that music cares have helped just within the last couple months, you know. Uh, it's great when musicians sort of stick up for each other and help each other out. And a lot of musicians aren't fortunate enough to have health care to get the help they need. And so it's a good thing. Now, I was talking to these guys before you walked over about uh, the fact that you guys are the only rock album up for album of the year and all the other nominees are pop. I mean, you're carrying the rock mantle right now. You know, recently, I entered my 1965 Ford Falcon van into the Pomona car show, and you know what? I fucking won a trophy because I was the only fucking van in the car show. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see on Sunday if that philosophy holds up. <laughs> no, I mean it's. I think. Look. You know for, what? We've already won here. Okay. It's all right here. Right. We've already won right here. And that's what matters. No, I really want the Grammy, actually. Fuck the heart. I want the Grammy. Well, have fun tonight. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks for talking no, to no, us. No, we haven't done it. All right. We didn't get, we didn't.